Hello everyone, this is Inolami and welcome to my channel. So we have um analysis on BTC. You need to know if BTC is bearish or bullish. So lately we all see the um bullish move on BTC, like <laughs> it was very very amazing. That was a long bullish movement from this very point here. From twenty four thousand nine thirty one, then we see up to thirty thousand eight sixty thereabouts. Yeah, now that was crazy. We just had few retracements in between. Really, really crazy. <laughs> so lately, um, for like a day or two, we've been seeing BTC kind of ranging in one particular direction so we don't know if it's gonna go bullish or bearish so let's let's see what we have on the chart okay this is the daily time frame and from what we can see here let is is just doing us somehow like this was yesterday candle and it tested it did 30,500 and a low of 29,535. As a stand now, if I would say, oh sorry, let me just say technically before making my own opinion. What I see here is BTC trying to form a double top here, then we come down, which should be a bearish movement. I'll take this for a double top, then a down pull. But before the down, this is where the um, the uh, the puzzle is. <clears throat> Price might decide to still come back to test this um recent high which is 30,845 price might come down to to retest this zone and probably go further to test 31,000 31,000 before a bearish um movement technically if price is unable to hold this zone here, this um, particular zone where I have my uh, rectangle here, if price is unable to hold this particular zone, then that, that validates our um, bearish movement, which is going to be a downfall. But if we see any candle closes above this 31,000, which is this recent high, 31,104, then I will take that for a bullish movement. If any candle should close above this, I will take it for a bullish movement. If otherwise, then we come down. So what I'm seeing here is a is a formation of a double top, which indicates a bearish movement. But what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, what I feel is that there is a possibility of price retesting this particular IRI, this thirty thousand six hundred, or probably go further to test the thirty one thousand zone. So if anyone wants to take a short position. You should place a stop loss above 31,000, like let's say 31,185. Yeah. Because we might test 31,000 or probably even test 31,100 before price will now go in the bearish direction. So to avoid being caught, um, caught out of trade, Place your stop if you are going on a short position. Place your stop loss above this 31,000. Or 
um reasonably to avoid using a year stop loss especially if you don't have a, 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 a um enough margin to withstand to be able to withstand the stop loss then allow price i'll make another video where i'm gonna where we'll see if price is selling when we can validate our sell then you can enter a, a short position then but for now this short position is not fully validated is not fully validated you are just seeing the formation to be on the saver side it would be nice for you to see that the sale has started occurring though you might miss some little profits because you're not taking from the major top but it's still better at least you know you are not using higher stop loss in case of anything but if you have enough liquidity to withstand using a stop loss above 31,000 185 then you can go short on btc if otherwise just stay out at least let's have a clear direction because as i'm saying we might come back to test this zoom there's a possibility of coming back to for price coming back to test this zone or even test the 31,000 zone before it drop if it's unable to uh, hold the 31,000 zone, then we see a bearish um, direction. If it's hold the 31,000 zone, then we see a bullish movement. So as it is now, we are in between. That is one of the things in the crypto space. It requires a lot of patience because you have to monitor to be sure, you know. This is not on like forex where you can easily okay within a day you already know where the market is going so crypto requires an extreme patience for you to be able to trade it especially when price is just ranging between one level or the other so if you go to four hours now to see you can see on four hours this is what the price is doing ranging to Price still ranging here. We've not seen a close. We've not seen any candle close above this. This is like the resistance. Why this is the support zone? So price has been ranging, and that is why you don't have you don't want to get caught in between this in between this drama. So price can either go long from here or come short. That is it. So you have to be able to validate um, your position first before entering. If you would wait, you wait. Let's see. I'll make um, further videos explaining um, the direction. For now, price is still ranging. And that is what we are seeing on the four hours. Ranging. Ranging. As I said, it can decide to go test this high possibility of testing back this zone or going to test the test the 1000 so if you have the more uh, capital to risk that can withstand that 1000 and above stop loss you can go short if otherwise wait be patient let's have a clear direction because price has been unable to break this zone it's ranging so that is what i have for you guys you can join me on Telegram for further cryptocurrency opportunities, airdrop, trainings, crypto trainings, or forex trading, and what have you. Hit the subscribe button. Catch you later. Bye for now.